Hi, this is a review of the StarTech.com DisplayPort to 3 DisplayPort Hub. Now I've been using this device for more than 6 months now and I feel like I can give this a balanced review. Right, this device is providing my uh, Dell Precision with 3 additional DisplayPort ports. Now, what, what I, I, let me start with what I like about this device. The first thing is it's really small. It uh, does not heat up. It does come with its own uh, DC power supply, so it will need an electrical outlet. Now, it, it is great in that you can connect uh, many different adapters. For example, not all my monitors want to use or have the available uh, HDMI or um, display port connection so what I have here is a active it's actually a sapphire brand active uh, display port to DVI connector and the StarTech.com has no problem dealing with these adapters and just for this video I've even converted it again from DVI to HDMI but anyway DVI and HDMI is very similar anyway it's really just the pins and then it doesn't matter. I mean, I could I could have uh, DisplayPort to DVI, DisplayPort to DVI, DisplayPort to HDMI. It, all of them will work. So you can have three um, adapters connected to this hub, and it still works. So it's quite resilient in that way. Now the, the, there is a switch here or a little push button, and that's a reset. Uh, it says scan, but it's like a reset uh, option. And what does happen is sometimes the monitors almost get disarrayed. So if you're looking at my setup, I am using uh, uh, six monitors and three of them are on the StarTech. So what happens is if I press the, I'm going to press this button now and it kind of like re resets it. So I'm going to press it while you have a look at the monitors. And you can see three of them go down and what it does is it's going to try and reconfigure itself. Now the thing is sometimes it doesn't actually reconfigure itself correctly. In this case it did. Um, probably more a question of the graphics driver but nevertheless uh, that is something that I often have to use. Uh, especially if I undock my my laptop. So if I unplug this cable there, you can see my three monitors should go black, which it does do. I've got three monitors, and this is a 4K monitor. So that's that's also important. Uh, 1080p, 1080p, 4K, and the the StarTech.com has full support for this 4K monitor in fact that's one of the things i like about it is even my dell top of the range um, port replicator does not support the 4k um, so i cannot actually uh, plug in my 4k directly to the port replicator i actually have to use um, the startech.com so that's an important point is if you've got a 4k monitor you really need to consider the bandwidth of a port replicator if you are using that obviously i can plug it directly into the laptop because the laptop supports the 4k but here i have 4k 1080p 1080p and i could uh, plug in 4k and 4k right so let's see if it was able to reconfigure it oh, i mean look so this time when i plugged it back in it worked perfectly and that's why I'm saying, I mean, luck, because it doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes I have to reboot the machine. Now for the things I'm not so happy with. If you have a look at this wire. Now, if you're looking closely, can you see it's already started to, to tear? And this is a very short wire, so what I'd have to get is a DisplayPort uh, cable. Um, and it would have to be a female to... To mail and that, that's it that, it's I don't know why they made this cable so short and also it's not of a high quality look it has got a um, what do you call that a, a shroud a metal shroud a foil shroud but nevertheless you can see this this is not gonna last it's been look it's lasted six months but already it's tearing I'm gonna have to put some heat shrink on this um, next problem if there is a power outage 
which would be equivalent to that and if all the monitors happen to go off at the same time then when I come back to the screens they don't always come back on correctly so my advice is to UPS it but look I cannot blame that entirely on the StarTech because again that is probably a combination of this device and the graphic drivers um, other than that it's a robust construction I did contact them with a, a query and they asked me to check the um, barcode at the bottom um, so make sure you've got the newer model of StarTech.com I'm sure everything from the middle of uh, 2015 onwards you're safe um, overall would I buy this device again yes I have no choice if you need um, display port to three display port okay continuing with this uh, display port story what you can do is look I'm using the AMD Fire Pro what you can do is you can set up a preset which I do do and this is quite important because if you unplug your monitors or your display port then to reconfigure it every time it's uh, it's quite annoying um, look the Windows 10 has improved this feature but nevertheless you can't do this every time you you dock your your, your laptop or you plug in a monitor so create presets and this is what I have created the preset so that the software can force the monitors to the right place I have played around with the uh, other settings of uh, display port and uh, I'll show you quickly what you can do right it's called your edit and what it does is it shows you the the layout of your um, display ports in which connectors are connected to which one so you can force connections here and I'll just show you the tree which my setup is currently using right starting with uh, connection one okay that's just VGA then connection two it's showing me the bitrate it's showing me that it's uh, a hub and there are my uh, connections you see there's my uh, S this is the the, the, the monitor uh, one monitor and then I've got the U monitor so that's two of the the uh, display port monitors which are connected to the hub and it shows you the resolution and the other monitor which is uh, the um, 4k monitor I think should be here uh, yeah there we go so it shows you the tree and you can set you can you can set these IDs and force these connections I have played around with this um, I it was not necessary to do this after I think about four or five months ago the um, software update I did not it, it started working by itself properly without me having to force these connections um, and that's just also just showing you the the resolutions that are available now just uh, a tip my dull precision um, my graphics card can actually according to the spec only handle four external displays and one internal so altogether it's five displays so it's four external one internal but I actually am running six external displays thanks to the startech.com um, uh, port uh, hub the hub because it's not so much about how many monitors windows can handle plenty monitors it's more about the bandwidth available on the graphics card so the, this is a nice way of um, ad adding additional monitors by using DisplayPort because you're just sharing the bandwidth and in this case I still have additional bandwidth available because these monitors are all running at their full 60 Hertz uh, or respectively uh, their full uh, Hertz so it's not I haven't reached the limit yet um, so that's just a tip for for those who want to push the limits and have more uh, external monitors than the manufacturer actually said is available and that brings to the end of my review of the StarTech.com um, hub, MST hub, and I uh, hope you give it a try and make sure it is the 1.2 version. And I'll show you here quickly, it must be 1.2. And if you are buying monitors, 
minimum spec is display port 1.2 otherwise you are going to hit uh, problems and that's it so thanks for watching cheers